channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Angela and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this Valentine's Day inspired makeup look. So if you're interested to see, just keep watching. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. So for the purpose of this video, I went ahead and did the eyeshadow on my left eye already, and I'm going to do my right eye on camera so that I can do it a little bit more closer and a little bit more in depth if you're really new to makeup. And I did not do any of my BB cream or my powder or anything like that. I did my eyebrows, but I'm going to save everything else for the rest and just focus on the eyes at the beginning of this tutorial. So let me go ahead and zoom in and we can get started. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this side. I already went ahead and primed this side of my eye with my Urban Decay Priming Potion, and I also did prime it as well uh, with my Combust and 13, these two colors, in my Naked Smoky Palette. That is something I usually always do no matter what look I'm doing. I just prime it with the sort of, I like the tones together, how it's kind of light brown and a white. It's a good base to start off with. So now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and actually the first color I'm going to use is actually going to be my Bare Minerals Bronzer. Uh, you can use any type of like kind of like medium dark matte brown tone. This is what this tone looks like. So that's how I got this dark right here or this shade right here. Um, honestly, I looked up different tutorials to try and find inspiration for my video and I didn't use any of the same colors that anybody used. I really just took this and made it my own. So you don't have to have this bronzer or any type of eyeshadow palette. You can really just use what you have and make it work because that is what I do. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush and this is just my brush from my naked, uh, from my naked smoky eye palette. So we're just going to start right here in the inner corner of our eyes and I like to start in circular motion and then I kind of go back and forth so and we're just gonna keep doing this and then once you feel like you've gotten all the product most of it then we're gonna work our way up into the crease a little bit so that it's not too harsh and I just go back and forth between this circular motion, like this, circular, and then back and forth motion. And it really helps get the blending in very well. All right. And we're just gonna keep doing that until we get the look that we want. See how this side is much darker than this side. You just kind of got to keep adding on until you get the look that you're looking for. And it's always better to start off slow than it is to start off with too much color and mess up. Um, because sometimes it can be hard to blend if you put too much right away, especially when you're working with like dark or bold colors. So we're just going to continue to do the same thing. You guys like my Minnie Mouse ears? <laughs> Funny story, I used to intern at Disney World when I was in college and they have a store um, that's kind of like just for cast members only so it's like extremely discounted items and I got these mini ears there for like super super cheap. I was so excited because you can only imagine with all these sequins and stuff how expensive they would be in the actual park themselves. Um, but I never got the chance to wear them and I interned there in 2000. 13 and I'm still yet to wear them. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna wear them to hold my hair back while I do my makeup videos. So at least they found a purpose for now until I make it back to Disney World or Disneyland. But yeah, it was a pretty cool experience. I love Disney so much. I've always loved it, but after interning there, I loved it even more. That's definitely good enough for now. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with this is one of my sephora palettes that i've used before like i said it can be any color i'm gonna take these two shades right here so these two shades uh they're kind of like a lighter like caramely type brown um again just use what you have that's exactly what i do i never have the colors or the specific palettes from the tutorials that i watch i just watch them for inspiration and create my own looks and you can definitely do the same thing so I'm taking those two colors together, I'm just dabbing them like this, and then I'm going to pretty much re repeat the same process that I did with the first color to kind of accentuate the inner corner more, make it a little bit darker and pop a little bit more. Kind of at 
the end when I know there's not much shadow left on the br brush once I've blended. I like to work my way up lightly a little bit as well to help it blend a little bit more so it doesn't just look like a weird like circular cut off. That way it blends up and kind of fades up into my brow bone if that makes sense. And next I'm going to take this is just like a little a, a much smaller like a uh, flatter brush you guys can see um this is from my electric palette like i said you just have to kind of work with what you have or you don't have to have uh specific palettes to have good brushes you can go into stores like sephora or mac or order online a good brush kit or one or two different types of good brushes to have so next i'm going to go ahead and take the color whiskey and i'm going to lightly dab and then this is how I created this really dark color right here in my crease I kind of just went like this and kind of I initially kind of like applied it as eyeliner like I just followed the line of my lid and went like this it's really that simple so I'm gonna do that I did to accentuate it a little bit more um, and make it go more into my crease a little bit deeper is I took the other end of my uh, naked palette uh, brush the brush that came with my naked palette and using the same color whiskey first I'm like here going into the inner corner of my eyes I'm like dabbing it not taking it up or anything, just like dabbing it and like doing circular motions. And then I'm actually going to take this look a little bit um, I want this to kind of go up more this way, so I'm going to kind of like thicken it up a little bit. Alright, once we do that, I'm going to go back in with my brush from my electric palette and take this bigger side but still much flatter side. And I'm going to use the color high. I'm going to use the color high from my naked palette. Dab that in there and brush that all over my eyelid. Let's get that shimmer. Sorry guys, I keep forgetting that I need to stay close to the camera so you can see better. To work on that <laughs> and then once I do that I'm actually going to take uh, my Mac eyeshadow this is a shimmer shadow as well I forgot it's called frost um, and I go back over this color and I use my finger because a lot of times when you use your finger you get a lot more pigment so especially with pressed shadows and then I'm just gonna go back over like that once we've done that I'm gonna go back in with the same little um, smaller end from my electric palette and I'm going to go back in with whiskey again this darker color because that shimmery part kind of covered up that line that we made with it so we're just going to go back in and define that again so all right now um, what we're going to do is we're going to go back in with the initial colors that we used um, in our inner corners and just make sure everything is blended well because see that's not blended as well as this side uh, We just want to make sure this all blends and there's no harsh lines. So I'm going to go back in with my bare minerals minerals I can't talk bronzer that I initially used And kind of do the same motions just to make sure Everything's blending good Okay, so I'm also going to go back in with these lighter colors that I initially used. These two right here, these more lighter caramely ones. And go over the top of my eyelid again.
Hey guys, sorry about that. My camera ran out of uh, filming space, so I had to delete some videos. Uh, but anyways, so now that both these sides pretty much look the same, I'm going to go in with my the smaller side of my Naked Palette brush and go back in with Whiskey, the same color that I did in the inner corners right here. And I'm going to go under my eye. So this is a cool look if you're not really experienced with doing a lot of makeup and you don't want to use dark colors because I didn't use any blacks or eye, or dark eyeliner um, or any type of like winged eyeliner. So if you don't know how to do that, this is still going to be a really cool, bold look uh, with the red lip that I'm going to add at the end and look like a really cool look for uh, Valentine's Day. So now that both of the eyes are done with the eyeshadow, I'm going to apply my mascara last just because... I haven't done the rest of my face and I need to apply setting spray and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do my face makeup like I normally do. Uh, if you're not sure how to do your face makeup, I have done in detail step by step what products I use and how I do it and how I contour and all that fun stuff in previous videos. So if you want to know how to do that, I'll go ahead and link one of my videos at the end of this video uh, where I do that. But for this process, I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward this process so we can finish up the eye look and do the lips. I did bake my face and I went away, I went ahead and wiped away the under eye bake and the forehead and I'm just gonna let this baking uh, sit while I do the rest of my makeup and, and, and wipe that off at the end again if you want to know how to bake your face I do talk about that in some of my previous videos but I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this look with the lipstick and the mascara and the setting spray so uh, oh there it is so first before I apply my mascara I am going to curl my lashes I feel like there's a hair there we go Jeez, you know when you feel like there's like a hair on your lip or like on your face and you can't seem to find it that's pretty much how it's been this whole video <laughs> all right so i'm going to curl my eyelashes and then i'm going to apply the mascara so for this look i am going to be using my mac mascara uh it is the a25 uh it's really really thick and I usually tend to use this for when I want a more bolder look, which I would for thank for Thanksgiving. Where's my head at <laughs> for Valentine's Day? Um, you could even get false lashes too. Um, it's something I've never tried and I do want to try. And I think that false lashes would actually be really pretty with this look uh, if you want even bolder. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my mascara. I'm going to use my mirror because this is a thick mascara and I don't want to mess up. Oh, look at that. I got like stuff all over me. Do you guys have like that, like that one lipstick product that no matter what you do, it just gets over everything else in your makeup bag? Yeah. That's me. So when I apply my mascara, I kind of like to like swish back and forth like this. It kind of just helps make it thicker and it spreads the eyelashes out a little bit more versus just going up. Ooh, mascara in my eye. Ooh. All right, now let's go back under the eyes with the mascara. And I don't like it to be too thick under my eyes or sometimes it can be a little bit too much. So I usually don't dip my mascara brush back into the container. I just use what's left over from what I applied to the top. And I do the same thing on the bottom when I'm applying. I just kind of go back and forth. All 
Oh, and I forgot the most important part. I forgot to highlight my face. So I'm gonna use my MAC highlighter and highlight the cheekbones. I'm gonna kinda of go around this way like this. And then I'm going to do my nose. I like to do my nose to be shiny, I don't know why. And my cupid's bow. This is a cupid's bow, if you didn't know. <laughs> when I first started watching makeup tutorials and I watched uh, beauty gurus and they said highlighting their cupid's bow, I was like, what the heck is a cupid's bow? So, in case you were wondering, like I was, all right, and then I'm going to highlight, I use my fingers to highlight my brow bone. So I just take a little bit with my fingers. Kind of just gives your brow bone a little bit more of a pop. It also, in my opinion, makes it look like, uh, helps it, helps the, where the eyeshadow ends, uh, blend a little bit more into your brow bone. So I'm going to go ahead and take the baking off Oh, hold on, Gustavo's calling. Hello? I'm filming. Yeah, I'm filming. What's up? Okay. Well, what? then I'll talk to you later. I'll text you. What's wrong? You can continue. Oh, nothing. I was just going to say that uh, maybe you should, go, you should uh, look for some sheets for the bed. Today? Like, go out? Well, online, yeah. And then that way, oh. if you don't find anything, we can go look for it this Tonight? weekend. Oh, okay. We're going to need them. Okay. I will okay. when I'm finished filming. All right, I love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Right. So the last thing we need to finish this look is our lipstick and our setting spray. So today I'm I'm going to be using a very bold type of lipstick. Um, this is my uh, it's called Ruby Woo, my matte lipstick from Mac. Uh, it's very very red. Um, and I'm also going to be lining my lips beforehand with my MAC pencil as well in Cherry, and they match pretty well. If you don't have a lip liner, you, def you don't, definitely don't need it, but when you're using a bolder color, it is easier because you can kind of like trace the outline of your lips first and then put the lipstick on, which is a lot easier for me to do. And a good trick to make your lips look a little bit bigger and more plump is you can overline a little bit. I kind of line like right over the top of where my actual natural lip line ends when I do this and it makes them look a lot plumper and fuller. Baby. And the look is done. I'm just kidding. Um, so when I initially bought this lipstick and this lip liner, um, the woman who did my makeup in the store in MAC told me that it's actually easier once you have your lips lined if you just fill your lips with the liner. So you just kind of fill it in and then put the lipstick over it. And you don't have to do it like fully, like just kind of like blot your lips together. That way too, it's kind of easier to see if you have the shape you want before you put on the actual lipstick. So when we're done lining our lips, we're gonna go ahead and go over that with the lipstick. All right, so now that we have our lipstick on, we're gonna go ahead and apply our setting spray. And I'm just using my e.l.f. Matte Magic Setting Spray. All right guys, there you have it. This is the finished Valentine's Day look. I hope you guys like it. I wanted to go with something that was a little bit more soft and subtle, but still bold as well with the lips because I know that uh, there's a lot of really cool tutorials out there with like bright purples and pinks and stuff like that. But if you're anything like me, uh, you probably just want something that's still vibrant and that pops and makes you look va va boom, but not like super, super bold. And this is a great look for me. It's in my comfort zone, yet it still has that pop of color on the lips. So hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out. And I will see you guys as always in my next video. Bye.